Ming, how long do you think we're gonna finish the ride today? I think 12 hours possible. 12 hours? This is my friend Nick. Him and three of my other friends are attempting to cycle around Singapore. We all met while serving in the military together. The one thing I've learned during the time we've been friends is that we always seem to overestimate ourselves. And I have a feeling today will be no different. The plan is to start at East Coast so Nick and Elston can pick up a couple of rental bikes. We would then ride along the edge of Singapore, seeing some pretty sights along the way, and then continue riding all the way around, making it back just in time to return the bikes in the evening. What are we doing today, Chris? Uh, cycling around Singapore. <laughs> 6.42 a.m. Of course, after we rented the bikes, we needed a big meal before we headed out for the day. And what better breakfast to have than good old Mackey's? And there we have it. Sauce Boss, Master Chef. How, how are the legs feeling today, Anna? Kind of tight, kind of thick. <laughs> That's, right. That's from my morning cycle and some McDonald's. <laughs> After a delicious breakfast, we gave Ernest some time to stretch his thick thighs with the elderly in the park, and then we were finally ready to set off. After the beautiful Marina Bay, we continued to bike through the city until we arrived at Henderson Waves. So we're caught in a bit of a pickle. Pickle ring! There's a chance we have to scale the stairs of sorrow with our bicycles. It's gonna be epic. We need to get up there and we are down here. See, the choice has been made. Damn it. <laughs> You're it. It's also because I'm wearing my bike shoes. And after all that effort convincing Chris to carry my bike Thanks. while I just stood there and filmed, it sure as hell was worth it. <laughs> after waving on the waves, we made our way to the next destination, which was the lighthouse at Raffles Marina. She said I'm a triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is you tripping for a follow? Who all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo? Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well, hello. I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some portobello. So I guess I need some grease up on my elbow. Yeah. 
But now my light turn yellow And I've been looking for a cheat code Life don't come in a neat bowl Bringing the receipt home But we know, we know that Keep your head up and your seat pulled back Ah, how do people see you that can burden a man? 22 years on a personal brand Ah, no Ah, no Yeah we are now at West Coast Park along the way. I have stepped in Doggy Doo Doo. And we can't seem to find the other boys at the moment. This is going well. So it turns out that they have gone ahead. Nick has my phone. So now we're gonna try and find them. Here we go. It's okay, man. These things happen. We are built for this. <laughs> 22 years on a personal brand. Oh. We have now been reunited with the gang. What happened, Nick? We no, we thought you, you all went way ahead already. <laughs> ah, you thought, you thought. Tension is building. The team is fragmenting. Stay tuned to see what happens next episode. Hey, Lord Jesus, a normal. We are in the industrial area of Singapore that we hardly get to see on a day-to-day -day basis. Pretty insane, huh? I could be a Okongo She could be a dark skin like Pretty Young Go Lord, I ain't picky picky And I don't care if she And so we kept riding to the west of Singapore until we finally reached the Raffles Marina Lighthouse. The lighthouse is well known to have an extremely scenic backdrop where a lot of couples tend to propose nowadays. So we were super excited to see what the fuss was all about. I'm not gonna lie, like it's kind of underwhelming at 12 p.m. Underwhelming, but the company is... But, oh no, the company is overwhelming. So this is why my dad hangs out at us all the time. That is Malaysia. Okay, live from That is a mullet. At this point, we were all pretty exhausted and it was time for lunch. So we decided to stop, grab a bite to eat, and hopefully recoup some of that well needed energy. Drinks for everyone. The plus never looked so good. This is so good. Currently, about. 50 kilometers in. So we've stopped for lunch at a random place called Joylicious. Oh my god. I told you how do people see you that right. Good lunch break and ready to go. We're off. We're on our round two post lunch. Wish us luck. Looking back at the footage now, I'm really happy that Ernest asked for some luck at that point because with what happened next, we got really, really lucky. Chris was essentially helping to carry a lot of the camera gear. His bike wheel went into a pothole and completely popped the tire, sending him flying. And he used his cat-like reflexes to protect the camera gear, protect himself, and avoid getting seriously hurt. And this is what happened next. My friends! What just happened? My friends, crispy chips. Got his uh, tire punctured. A big one of that, a big boom. And he uh, sacrificed his body to save this camera. Yeah. <laughs> and here he is, the, the hero. hero of the moment. I right, yeah. here to fix his bike. It was, it was so you can take a break. <laughs> yeah, and it just started raining. There's really literally only one bike shop. It's like, all the bike shops are in the central. Yeah. And then we're here. <laughs> and it was just nice where there's a bike Such shop luck. here. We were so lucky because the next closest bike shop was miles away and it just so happened there was one random bike shop only 200 meters away so we just had to push and roll the bike over. On top of that, Chris's wheels were just the right size for what they had available in the shop. If his wheels had been the same size as Ernest's, uh, we would have been out of luck and he wouldn't have been able to get an extra tire. After the accident, we were all pretty frazzled and so we decided to slowly make our way to our next destination which was Sungai Bolo. On the way there, we didn't film anything else because I just put all the camera gear in my bag just to be safe and the traffic was getting super heavy with lots of big trucks on single lane roads and it was just feeling a little too unsafe for us. So when we got to Sungai Bolo, we just took one final photo and we decided to call it a day. So we went off in our separate ways so that Nick and Elston could return the bike at East Coast while Chris, Ernest and I went back to Ernest's house to recoup and plan to meet them later. Alright, just a quick update. We have stumbled upon an oasis along the journey. Oh, fucking paradise. So the rental bikes we're not up to par and we would have taken way too long to get back to the starting point. So we are finishing a half loop and to be continued. Continue. My body is a machine. 
Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like, share it with some of your friends and family if you want them to see Singapore from a different perspective. Drop a comment of places that you personally love in Singapore or have always wanted to see in Singapore. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.